What is up my guys? This is MJ Photos and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are gonna be reviewing a biking essential that a cyclist like you and me who is following this channel would really love. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more videos like this. And if you're ready, then let's roll the intro. Okay, first of all, a big shout out to Olight for sending us another product, which I'm really excited about. And this time, it is a bicycle accessory. This is the RN180 TL LED Bicycle Taillight, which is a cooperative brand between Olight and Magic Shine, both of which are very impressive brands in the flashlights industry. Here, we have the standard Olight packaging, which is really neat and simple and makes you feel like you're unboxing an Apple product, right? The unit is conveniently attached using a Garmin-style quarter turn mount for very easy access. And it packs features such as smart motion sensor and also sensitive ambient light sensor, which is good to have for road riding, urban cycling, and daily commuting. The box also comes with some accessories and two mounting options. First is the seat post mount, and you also have an option for a saddle mount. You have the universal micro USB cable, a pair of cable ties for securing your mount, and of course, your user manual for the features and instructions. Now, speaking of features, the RN180TL has a highly transparent optical fiber lighting strip design with a max output that can reach up to 180 lumens and has a 260 degrees of visibility for all around protection, even during the day and nighttime. The material is made out of plastic, but it has a protective shell that can withstand a drop of 1 meter, and it's also IPX6 water resistant, so you don't have to worry getting wet under the rain. It is feathery light, weighing only 1.3 ounce, including the built in battery with a capacity of 800 milliamp hours, which has a maximum runtime of 18 hours depending on the mode that you're using. It can be easily charged using a standard micro USB cable which you can attach to our bank and it will display a blinking red when it's charging and a constant green when it's fully charged with a complete charging time of 1.5 hours. There are 8 different modes that you can choose which is categorized into 3 groups the constant, the flashing, and the smart mode. To operate, first, you have to long press the power button to turn the lights on or off. Then you can click once to switch between different modes under this category. For example, when in constant mode, you can change the brightness level from low, medium, and high, which has a different lumens output and battery life. To switch between a different category, you can double click to change the flash mode. Here we have four different variations with different settings and battery usage. Personally, I prefer the flash mode which can give you 10 hours of runtime. Basically, the quicker the light flashes, the lesser the battery it can choose. And lastly, we have the smart mode which makes use of the built-in light sensor which automatically adjusts the brightness according to the ambient lighting conditions. This is the mode that can give you 16 hours of runtime during the day. In terms of mounting, the seat post mount is designed to fit both narrow and conventional seat post. But if you don't want it on your seat post, you can always choose the saddle mount, which is personally what I prefer. Installing the mount is very easy and literally it just takes you a few seconds, especially with a quarter turn mount locking mechanism. Then you have your saddle mount, which goes under your saddle, which hooks in and snaps perfectly. And again, using the quarter turn mount, it is very easy to install and remove. Some people may want to secure the mount using the tie bands, but personally, you don't really need this as I can feel it securely in place. I would definitely recommend this for mountain bikes that are using a dropper post. Now on to the main feature of this product, which is the smart motion sensor that automatically turns the light brighter to a maximum output of 180 lumens triggered when there's a sudden motion or when you are braking normally. Take note that at 125 lumens, it is already bright enough, especially on pitch black conditions. So to demonstrate, let us try to trigger the motion sensor and see the 180 lumens output. Wow, that's really bright, right? 
I can see this very useful, especially when you're cycling on the road, to give ample warning to your fellow cyclist or motorist behind when you're coming to a stop. Another cool feature is the auto sleep mode, which allows the unit to turn off after a few minutes of inactivity. And then any movement it detects will immediately reactivate the unit automatically, which is a really cool power saving feature. And lastly, it has a memory function which remembers the last mode that you are using when you turn it on. So, final thoughts. What do you think? For me personally, I am very impressed with this product with such a small form factor and it's packed with uh, latest features such as light and motion sensor. This could really be a lifesaver. So, if you're planning to upgrade your normal taillight or maybe just buying your first daylight and starting out, starting out cycling, then I could recommend you getting one of these. So to know more and to get this, you can visit the link in the description below which links to the online store for Olight. And as of this posting, there is an ongoing flash sale which will give you discounts for all items on their website. But if you miss the flash sale, then you can always use my coupon code at EMJAEMJ -E and it will give you 10% discount. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos uploaded every week. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one. This is MJ Photos. Salamat, amigos.